Hey, good afternoon, guys. It's Saturday, November the 7th, and oh my God, you could not ask for a better November day. I mean, look at me. I'm in a short sleeve shirt. I'm in shorts. It is 70 plus degrees. It's supposed to be 75 or so. Could be a record high temperature for the day. It does not get any better than this in November in Indiana. I'm telling you, it is fantastic. You know, my last couple of uh, videos, episode one and episode two of Leaves 2020, you know, I said I wasn't gonna break out the cyclone rake until all the leaves are down. You know, I just cannot pass up this weather. And even though there's still quite a few leaves to fall, there's a bunch on the ground and we're gonna clean them up. The first step today, you can see the gutters are just full. I mean, they are about as full as they can get. So I'm gonna get the ladder out. I'm gonna try to uh, put my backpack blower on and climb up on the roof. And, you know, I have an attachment for the blower with a hook on it where you can actually clean your gutters out from the ground. But that backpack blower is so powerful that it's really hard to handle <laughs> that thing. And it, man, it makes a mess and you end up wearing more leaves than you clean out of the gutter. So. I'm gonna get the ladder out. I gotta get up on the roof on the shop. I gotta get up on the roof on the house. And uh, we're gonna take advantage of this beautiful fall, November 7th, Saturday, 2020. And uh, we're gonna do some leaf cleanup. And you will see the cyclone rake in this video. Clean up the gutter time. Well, I've got all the gutters blown out for now. They'll fill up again. There's still enough enough leaves blowing around and still up in the trees where I'll have to do the gutters probably at least one more time before the end of the season. Before I get the cyclone rake and the mower out, I'm gonna put the backpack blower back on and I'm gonna see if I can uh, speed up the leaf falling process just a little bit. Time to bust out the cyclone right guys there she is guys one of my favorite I mean absolute favorite tools I mean this sucker is bad to the bone let me just kind of recap my little storage area here that I've made for my um, rake attachments you know I've got the the one that goes to the mower deck and I did buy the uh, the heavy duty hose to do the extension. In my leaves 2018 video, I really uh, cracked on, you know, buying the uh, the heavy duty uh, yellow hose of being a, a waste of money. And it really isn't. But you know, when you buy the coupling and you have two section of hose and you put them together. If you're trying to drag it around your yard, it's no good. The, the uh, clasps that hold the couplings together, the two sections comes undone and it digs into the ground and it's really just a pain. So if you need it because you just can't get your rake close enough with one section of hose, then, then it'll work and it works great. But for me, what I found is that when it's time to break out the hose, um, I've, I've developed a pattern where I can kind of blow all the leaves into certain areas up around the house and then I can get to them with just one section of hose and that really works best for me. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the rake outside and then I'll hook up the, uh, the mower deck adapter and the mower deck hose and we'll go do some raking. Oh, something else. You know, spend the money for the rack because when you're transporting the vacuum hose yeah, this rack comes in damn handy.
yeah this is a uh, you know I've used a couple of different um, leaf vacuum systems and for my money the cyclone rake is absolutely the best yeah with the with the plastic impeller and just I mean they really did a good job on this uh, this machine um, I guess one suggestion that I that I would definitely make is that get the biggest hopper you can afford even if you don't have a gigantic yard um, I didn't buy the smallest one but I didn't buy the biggest one and I wish I would have and, and it wasn't a money thing I, I could have afforded the, the bigger one but you know these things fill up faster than you think and you know you have a tendency to overfill them and when you overfill them that makes it a lot harder to dump but if you can afford the biggest one get the biggest one and if you you know I guess you have to consider where you're going to store it too and make sure you have uh, ample storage Now this time I'm going to be mindful of how much I put in the unit before I dump it. Um, you know, I always, always overfill it the first, uh, the first time I get it out. And when you overfill it, it makes it hard to dump. And especially if you have a zero turn mower, you know, you can shake it and get it to dump pretty good. But uh, I got a little ways to go yet. You know, I made a little bit of a mistake that you know i broke out the leaf blower and i blew a lot of this in the corner and i can't get to it with the mower deck adapter on and i don't really want to break out the vacuum hose just yet so a little trick that you can do is just take off the connection from the mda and there you go and rake them into the uh into the hose Just like that man that was a big pile of leaves and i uh, didn't get out the vacuum hose i just took the the main uh, the main hose off and very very easily just raked them right towards it and it just sucked them right up yeah that's what i'm probably gonna have to do out here because you know deep piles uh you know trying to run over with the mower deck adapter doesn't really work out that great but we'll give it a try anyway. I think I better dump it before I tackle this pile. tell when it's starting to get full because it doesn't handle as well and the uh, the hopper wants to kind of have a mind of its own and go its own way so I think before we tackle the front we'll go ahead and dump it again
Hey, good morning, guys. It's day two of episode three of Leaves 2020. I got the cyclone rake out yesterday. We cleaned up the yard. Um, today, it's a little bit cloudy, but I think it's supposed to clear out. It's still unbelievably uh, beautiful for November in Indiana. It's 60 degrees right now at about a little before 10 in the morning. It's supposed to be possible um, record high temperature in the mid 70s today it's going to be absolutely great i'm going to tidy up the uh, the leaf job but first things first you know i had a new roof put on several weeks ago and they did a good job on the roof and they did a, a good job of cleaning up afterwards but ran over a freaking roofing nail and put a hole in my uh, uh my tire on my mower and so I got to fix that. That's the first thing I got to do today is try to plug my uh, back tire on the mower. But let's take a quick uh, walk around so you can just kind of see the remnants of what's left over and how I'm going to clean it up with the uh, cyclone rake today. Um, still has some falling leaves. You know, I got the rake out a little bit earlier than I normally would because I, I, um, like I've said, I don't know, numerous times, I like to wait until all the leaves are down so I'm not, you know, busting my backside, cleaning up leaves, and then in a few days have to do it all over again. But I just couldn't pass up the opportunity with this beautiful weather. I mean, short sleeve shirts, uh, shorts, just beautiful. But as you can see, you know, I've got leaves built up around the corners i still have some leaves here a little bit here and there so i'll get the uh, uh backpack blower out and i'll try to i'll try to wrangle all the the remaining remnants of leaves you know here i've got a lot of pine needles and leaves up against the house the uh, vacuum attachment will make short work of that i uh got a big pile back here which this is uh, this is pretty typical. This is a natural catch, a wind catch of leaves, and so I'll make uh, short work of that with the cyclone vacuum. But I had this all cleaned out. I'm gonna have to go over that again with the with the rake. I had this completely cleaned. You know, again, you know, I hate to get the rake out before all the leaves are down because just like right here, you know, this was completely clean last night and you know it looks like i hardly did anything you know if we had a a good wind um it cleared that out pretty good but oh well is what it is so i'm gonna get the mower out i'm gonna fix the tire you guys don't need to see me fixing a freaking tire um and uh we'll tidy this up Let's get the uh, the vacuum attachment installed and uh, finish up this weekend project. What a machine. I mean, for the homeowner, it doesn't get any more professional than that. Hey, I'm not getting paid by Cyclone Rake, but man, I love their product. So we'll start on this side of the house and uh, we'll have at it. So you can see I basically position my mower and the rake close enough to where I can pull the hose off and get to all the areas and I'll just circle around the house as you'll see. 